I love music. It's one of my favorite things about creating content. And I've used Epidemic Sounds for a while because I can find high quality, royalty free music for my videos. And if you can't tell already, I'm going through a bit of a trap phase at the moment. But what if I told you that AI is changing the way we create and discover music? And in this video, we're going to explore two incredible audio tools, Udio and Suno, both pushing the boundaries of music generation right now. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Gray and welcome to Deep Professional. Now today we're going to dive into the world of AI music. With tools like Udio making waves and being compared to Suno, it's safe to say that AI music is having its time in the spotlight. In this video, we're going to explore these tools and see what they're all about. Okay, now first up, I want to talk about Udio. And this tool allows anyone, even those with minimal music knowledge, to create songs effortlessly. Now, as you can see, it's still in its beta phase and dead simple in terms of signing in, just signing with Google, um, and you will get access to it for free. And it's really, really, I'm gonna say, come forth giving actually with how many credits it's allowing you for a day uh, to generate and obviously over the course of time to generate, like it's like 600. Now, I really like the actual like web page in itself because you've got loads of different samples and songs that either people have created, that staff have picked out, all the different genres that are applicable. And actually I really like the artwork that comes with it. It's it's kind of has that that vibe to it. So it's really, really cool. So as a UX design, there's an interface, as a front, as it were, just a general web page. Really, really like it. And when you start listening to the songs, like some of the things you start to see and what sets Udio apart probably at the moment is it's stereo audio. Like you can incorporate multiple vocals into it and it's high quality output. So it sounds phenomenal. Like when they say drink and turpentine ain't where it's at, insurance fraud is a federal crime. Well, I didn't know that. You're telling me now for the first time. Struggle, keep my heart beating on and on, no defeat. I'm breathing, chasing life. That's the grind, that's the grind. Never done. Now, so that's kind of the things as soon as you log in and you start to listen to them, it, it, some of them are hilarious, by the way. So it's great fun. Um, and you can hear it just in, in these ones that I'm playing to now. Um, but overall like what we're here for is we want to see how easy it is for us to generate a song so that's what we're going to do now so what i like about this is when you obviously go into the my creations you can put in the prompt that you want now for me super simple and i always test it with this i'm straight back into photosynthesis so i'm going to ask it to generate a song for me about photosynthesis and what I like about this as you start to go through it is the, what you've got then is underneath it is that you have these genres that you can pick out from. So I'm going to ask it to create a song about photosynthesis and I want to do it in a hip hop style. So click on create and obviously it's then generating, you can see the circle and it's obviously doing two. So it generates two at a time. Now, one thing to note with this is because of the popularity of the site right now, you can come across a bit of traffic. It can take a little bit of time. You sometimes get the odd error, but the results are worth it. So yeah, that took, I'm gonna take from there. That took about, cause I clicked on it two or three times accidentally, but for all of them to come through, um, yeah, probably about a couple of minutes. So three, four minutes. I think by the time I came back to it, it was like, we're like six, seven minutes into it. And I've got six songs that are in there for me. Um, all very, very similar. And you can see in length wise, all 33 seconds in length. Now what you've got across the side, if you play them, if you like them, or if you don't like them, you've got the ability to remix it. You can obviously extend it. So that will give you another 30 seconds. We'll have a look at that shortly. And obviously you can publish it. So then anyone can have access to it as well. I just want to grow with you. Catch the sun, make that chlorophyll ignite you. So just listening to some of the songs I've created here, just the clarity, I, again, 
hip hop, I should probably choose some other genres to have a listen to as well. But instruments and just the way the voice sounds, and I think that's probably the key thing for this is, is the voice. It doesn't sound like a computer generated or an AI generated voice. So I remember when AI first came out, I, everyone was really excited in terms of text they were putting in. It was like, ah, oh, can you generate this in a, like an Ed Sheeran style song? Can you do it in a, I'm gonna say Slipknot style song. But what I like then about this is that you've got the ability to add in your own lyrics. So you can actually take what you were doing originally with this, right, here's, here's something, can you turn it into an engineering style of song? And you can give it the lyrics that you may have created using AI and ask it for a certain style or genre of song and let it create it for you. So let's have a go at that now. This is lyrics that I have added in. And again, I asked AI to do it for me in the style of um, a rap, hip hop. So you put that into the custom where you get to create your own lyrics, ignore the instrumental, I want it to be auto-generated. Now with this, there is an option um, that you've seen earlier where you can have, the uh, you can obviously go in and, and do it yourself to some extent. I, I'm just happy to play around with the, uh, the auto-generated versions of this one um, rather than trying to do anything else with it. So let's see what it comes up with. Yo, gather round, let's break it down. Photosynthesis is nature's crown. Turning light into life is no myth. Check out the flow of photosynthesis in the lead. That's where it's at. Chloroplast chilling under the hat. The end is crystal absorbing light. Us energy they form is blind. Some I think we said, but the wig of me, the bridge of the way of love. What but it's quite short. It's only taken some of the lyrics. So if I wanted to, I could go in and I can extend this and it will give you another 30 seconds. And I think what you can do is then you can add obviously your lyrics in because what you can see it's only taken like some of my starter lyrics because of 30 seconds so i could put in another 30 seconds worth of lyrics and it would extend it and i like it because you could add an intro add a section or add the part after and obviously again you've got the same part and it gives you the information lyrics suitable for 30 seconds about six lines so you've got that and you can extend it through and i think you can probably do that I think it's already like four minutes worth potentially um, of extent. You can go up to extensions there, but really useful to be able to extend it out. So we need to then have a look now at Suno. Now Suno is probably the one that I think more people are aware of or become aware of over the last few days. Um, it seems that I think over, I was on LinkedIn just the other day and it was a lot of people talking about Suno and therefore talking about um, Udio as well and having to play around with it. So I think it's kind of come to more attention over the, the, probably the past couple of days. Um, but Suno, same similar type of setup interface in terms of what you can see on the home screen. It's got the AI art, obviously it's got the different songs. I had to listen to, to one of them just as I logged in, which was the I only ate three cheeseburgers and crunch that hilarious. <laughs> like, so it shows what the AI can also generate. Um, I probably say I prefer the the Udio um, web page. Uh, these things it's very subjective, obviously, in terms of what I like. But just having that information there in terms of different trends and the artworks, it's just preference there. Um, so let's have a look at generating a song with this. So you can see down the left hand side again, easy way to create. Now I'm not sure what was going on with this, but every time I was typing in, like you can see, I'm highlighting it now was for whatever reason that my text was coming out in black and I, and I couldn't see what was going on. So really peculiar with that, but you can see I've highlighted it. I'm gonna do my time or tradition photosynthesis test. Um, I didn't actually give this one a genre and I forgot to say whether I wanted it in sort of hip hop or rap so I can make a comparison, I just let it go. Um, but also underneath that, there's two versions for this. There's a V2 and a V3. So I've gone with V3 because when I've been playing around, I found that that was sort of the more creative version um, that you can use it for. Um, so very similar, short description, you can, um, and if you hit the kind of the, the tag part at the top, you can add in your custom lyrics. But from my side, a couple of things I noticed was it produced the content a lot quicker. Um, it's also obviously different length, so it's not just fixated at sort of 30 seconds, so it's a bit longer, um, but comes the magic, the science art, light dependent reaction start, photons hitting the lacquids. But you can kind of tell a little bit with the audio voice um, in terms of how it's generated. 
and I also, from my side, I actually prefer the, lay, the layout of Udio. I prefer when you generate the interface that you've got then like the different genres you can click on, all these different things that are there. So again, a bit of preference um, is that I, I like the, the layout of Udio better. Um, but in terms of where we're at with this, like you can do pretty much the same thing. Like what I found with the Suno is when you play around with it is that actually the great results lie in choosing the probably the the right genres and styles just because of how it's been trained and the amount of royalty free music that's available. Um, obviously classicals and certain things which expired ages ago, you've got a lot more royalty free music to choose from in that. So you need to really experiment with it to find the best training data and the best genres that come out with it. So my advice if you're wanting to use Suno is just go and experiment, go and have a play around with it. And even for both of them, I over the last few days we're kind of having that discussion of how oh, but how can this fit into a classroom and I remember short, you know, not too long ago, we, we produced that AI, you know, podcasting. So AI has been able to do podcasts and you've got things like 11 labs where you can obviously get, do text uh, to, to language, text to audio, sorry, generation. So students can make podcasts, you be creative with that. And this could be utilized in, in terms of creating songs. Yep, not a problem, something different of being creative and analyzing the lyrics or whatnot or helping with learning. You could remove lyrics, which is one of the things you can do for this and get, you know, royalty free background music. That's one of the things we all struggle with podcasting is where am I going to get like a song that goes into this for my intro or outros or adverts? You know, if, if students are doing it podcasting, you could be they could be generating their own, you know, background music that could fit in with it or something to help them with that. Or I think there's 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 possibilities for it in education. But with these things, not everything has to to be utilized in the classroom. It could just be for fun it's one of those ai tools that i think is just to start with going to be for fun unless you're kind of a music teacher or a media teacher and you could really utilize it i think for to maybe others like me as a science teacher uh it might be one of those things i showcase to the students to have a play around with um but it's not necessarily going to be something that i might try and start to utilize or i really need to scratch my head about how could i bring this in um for a learning perspective but just great fun now, while Udio seems to be a step ahead in vocal and overall audio quality, both tools are groundbreaking in their ability to allow anyone to create original songs. The best genres and use of custom lyrics can help maximize the output from either one. And ultimately, both are incredibly fun and powerful tools for music creation that are worth experimenting with. And that's it. Thank you ever so much for joining me in this video. If you've liked it, if you found it useful, please hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, stay safe guys, and I'll see you in the next video.